bro, you have such a thick ass brown. I mean, I'm going to eat potatoes exactly after I finish this tutorial. Yummy! Let's see in this video on how to draw a brownie. A delicious, delicious stuff, sweet that you would like to eat. But now you're really going to learn on how to draw it. Let's go! Remember to subscribe to this channel if you want more content like this. First things first, you know that it comes first. Heck yeah, it's about, it's always, always about the reference. But I don't mean like, hey, the reference, I mean uh, uh, the more than one reference. And I'm not talking like, hey, only two, it's good. No, sometimes we want three references. Do you know the difference? We can go all the way around with how many references we want because we got different, different things on each one of them that we look at it and go like, hmm. I want to learn to draw it. I want to put that in my drawing for my comic, for my illustration, for my commission, for anything like that. And how are we going to use this reference? We are going to understand, oh, so you have like cracks here up, but in the middle you're very smooth. Oh, when it's liquid, it's very saturated and now so a dark gray level and also strong reflection and also why not add some kind of strawberry or some kind of thing to your brownie because it looks delicious oh my first things first you are going to draw a little square it can be a small rectangle too but i'm going with a little square this is my brownie looks good but 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 Think from a different angle, from a different perspective. We gotta go like, yo, 3D, just like games going from 2D to 3D. Do the perspective. How the freak am I going to do the perspective? Gabs, I don't know what you're talking about. What are you doing, girl? It's going to have the frontal side, okay? A rectangle in the frontal area. And now it's going to the back. Since it's going to the back, we're going to see much more the upper area. Oh, I close it. Oh, I close it. Do you see this? We close here, straight going up. Remember, if this line goes here, this other one is also going to go here. And this one is going to also follow it. Do you see the connection between those two points? This line right here is exactly going to be the same perspective here. The angle here is going to be the same happening here. And now we just go a little bit more upwards. So again, looking at my references, I see that the upper area is a little bit cracky. Remember, random cracks, like small crack, gigantic crack. Random. The factor random changes how your art is going to look like. We can be adding chocolate falling down from it, and I do enjoy that idea a lot. Do you guys notice that the cracks? We could add some kind of thickness layer to it. Our our crackness in the upper part doesn't really have it, you know. I ain't gonna wait that soft fat. Give me one shot and I'll never get the throne back. I'm sick of being cautious. I'ma go cause something can't stop this. I'ma steal everybody's lane, call it shoplift. Sick of hearing everyone complain when they thought this. Taste the pain, it's like candy canes. It makes me go change into a better frame, into a better name. Now we are going into base colors, okay? We are going to do a selection in this beautiful thing called brownie by using our lasso tool right here or press the letter L in your keyboard, okay? The size in your brownie may be wrong, 
Remember, it's always, always, always important to just go stop drawing and look at your artwork and really analyze, observate. Hey, this thing is not looking that great. I should change it to be a little bit more up, a little bit more down. A little bit more darker, a little bit more brighter, a little bit more stronger color, saturated, a little bit more soft color, grayish, black and white. And this time, right now, right here, I found something that we can improve in this brownie. I separated my line art from the rest of the line arts and I made it a multiply with clipping mask. Clipping mask, amazing too, with my base color. And now I'm going to do it. Yes, I'm going to do it. I'm going to merge them Control e you're going to press the e, e and now we go here click on the filter and then here on filter you're going to click here on liquify okay liquify and now this appeared this appeared so you just gotta go like hey this part here was like too small i think it got bigger you know Take out those creepy lines that are here, sketch lines. You only maintain them if you're going to really use them. If you are not like me, just go and take them out. We are going to add some crispy details. Do all the cracks that you want to do. Be free. Woo! Now we go into yeah, you got it, you got it. Reflection. Anything that you're drawing about food and needs reflection, need to have that step. Need to. If you want to make your food look delicious, this is this is the step. Okay. You pick a lasso, you lasso this lasso right here, and then you're going to select areas for your reflection. Use your reference to choose the format of your reflection. Reference is the one that is going to guide you in your journey. So this is why we always use it. Right now, I'm going to press Ctrl H, the, the letter H, not not the number, the letter. It's my pronunciation. But then you press, and everything just disappears. And while it disappears, it still is there. So you make your brush very big, and you just go and put it strong, strong color. But let's have some kind of transfer in our brush here. Yeah, yeah and lower opacity if we want even more and on the upper area more soft than this dark chocolate It got more than one type of reflection going on here. I mean, there is a strong one coming from some kind of light. And there is the one from the table. I can see here, this is the table. There was there is forming this, those lines formed here. And also here, those white lines here, down. It's the table formed. When we understand what is happening in our picture, in our object, Things turn out so much more easier. So here I'm going to pick and do the reflection for it. Like here. Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy. 
Bloody hands stain from the people who deceive me Bloody hands break through the chains, go free me Looking for change, looking for pain Pulling a mob, pushing a train I'll never stop, stick to a lane Pick up the pieces and go rearrange uh. I'll be the best above all the rest, put me to the test uh. Expect nothing less, you check as I'm chess, what's happening next year? He got the venom, a tangible weapon, no coming in second, this life is a lesson He got a new engine from pain, that's a blessing, new focus, no guessing Just bought an obsession, all in his possession, you got the retention I leave an impression and take a redemption, just kill no discretion Your mind is a weapon, 11-11, it's time for progression, oh! You could try to play, but you're never gonna be me Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy Bloody and stain from the people who deceive me Bloody hands break through the chains, go free me People like she Lock your layer here on this chess thing. Click there. Now we are going to change the mode of our brush. Here in this area, you're going to find a lot of modes. Search for the mode. Call it soft light. Here you can see right now mine changed to soft light. Now you pick this um, amazing color and you go a little bit brighter. Look at this, I noticed it was not painting. Wrong layer! It happens, wrong layer. What you can do to find fast your right layer. Hold control, hold control, and click on the area that is wrong. It automatically changes to the layer that should not be. Let me show again. I'm putting on the background layer, and I know this area is wrong. I click here, it automatically finds to me the layer that is wrong. Our soft light here, just like I said, with the brighter color, you can see this amazing effect that's created. But you probably have already noticed it, it's too saturated, so what we're gonna do? You're gonna keep it being bright, but we're just gonna make it less saturated. Here you can see that I changed my color to a random color that is still orange, but less saturated. Now let's try again. You you just keep on adjusting your brownie and why not do a background to just forget about what you are drawing? The only way to win it life. I never miss that fact. Taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat. Put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag. Cause I sing what I mean and I bring it to the mad light. Ain't got time to kill, I got time to fail. Just small reflections that show how crunchy the brownie is, okay? I don't feel no shame, it's a mood you lack I go crazy, nah bitch I ain't lazy Track after track, I work on this shit daily Pass me the jack, right as fuel got me hazy About to unpack all these things I've been chasing I've got visions in my head Like memories after death To be a legend instead Of something you can forget I'm living up every breath I'd rather leave them be led I'll fill the seats as I spread With every word that I've said
this in a sea of the dying and shameless uh, A sea of the aimless, I don't wanna be one of the nameless I'ma wake up with the mindset that one day I'm gonna make it And I don't think I'll be fine if I don't break my limitations Don't try to stop me, I exist to write your story I'll make a decision if I want some peace or if I want the glory yeah. Don't want a life that is complacent or possibly boring yeah. Just want a life that is worth every day exploring yeah. My whole life I just wanted someone who would notice me My whole life I just wanted to be somebody to be Yeah, I just wanna be great yeah, I just wanna be great. Yeah, I just wanna be great. Yeah, yeah. I love this brownie to the beats. I love every part of it and I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Why not share with someone that have trouble drawing food, trouble drawing cake, because this brownie is a good example on how to draw cake, how to draw any kind of carbo, carbo, You like eating carbs? Yeah. Excellent example of how to draw carbs. That's my approach on why you should subscribe to this channel and get more content. I'm just saying that we got a lot of high quality free content, okay? Free content for you, your actor. It's there for you. What are you waiting for? What what are you waiting for? It's there for you. So leave a like, subscribe, and I'll be seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye!